Okay, so our main screen up front, it is our main workspace and viewport. So right here is when all action happen. After we select all properties we needed, we start creating on our main screen. And you can do this by using my pen or you can use mouse, left click, hold, and you can drag around and creating. Depend on what settings you're using, you will create a different type of the brush. The one thing is kind of need to familiarize, and it's very easy, it's how to navigate in your workspace. You can always pan around by push and hold down space key, which is similar to the Photoshop, or you can use it mouse key by right click, hold it, and it will have it exactly the same result. By zooming, you always can use it plus to zoom in, minus to zoom out. You can also use it mouse just to scroll in and out. And you can always access by using the top menu. Again, remember, if for some reason you zoom out too much, you can always press zero to frame back your workspace. As we're speaking about workspaces, you'll notice workspace like Photoshop allowed you to have it a multiple layers. And let's look closer on this layer tab. So right here, currently we have it one background layer and we have it a new layer, which is represent with a small screenshot, but this is the um, raster or pixelized bitmap type of the layer. You can have it multiple and different layers. You can have it a bitmap layer, you can have it a vector based layer, and you can notice right here we have a kind of symbol. We also can import image inside the, our painter and use it this as a layer. So let's just example, go ahead and import one of them. And so example, I just select, um, you know, maybe some images that I can select. So let's go open one of the dune. And notice right here we have our points. They kind of nice to remember this orange points, it's mean active point. So when we start working with vectors, this kind of will become important. Right here, you notice we have our panning tool for this layer. This layer is not yet active. Right now, we in a scaling mode. So I can scale and modify or panning to specific size if I need it. So again, let's go adjusting. Okay, we can hold down shift key to proportional scale if you need it. And overall, right here you can create and we can place it. When we're done, you notice right here on the bottom we have it OK and cancel. So as we play, press OK button, we're creating a new layer. And this is a bitmap or rasterized layer. You can, one thing to remember when we create it, and if I go over, I'm start painting over this layer. So let's press Control Z to undo. Um, you always can create new layer and painting over this layer if you need it. All you notice on this case, it will be just separate layer by itself. By the way, clicking on this eyeball, it will kind of will hide those layers so you can hide them or display as you're going. Okay, so right here we have a vector, raster, imported, and raster type different. The vector is actually available only in a pro edition of the Flame Painter. And I kind of very highly recommend for you to have because what's happening with this when I'm painting now and it looks similar, instead when I complete it, you notice right here I have it points. So I created shape and I can go back in this shape and modify it. So I can change how these points represent. Currently, one thing you kind of need to pay attention, notice right now I have a big circle and this big circle, it is tell my selection it will be going area selection. So I won't select just one, I select, notice, several of them. So if I want to select one, I need to just click one and select. Remember what I says about active points. Gray is not active, they're not anchored yet. So if I go take this gray and start moving, 
Notice this point does not move at all. Same as my other anchor. So when I modify shape, they're anchored. So to unlock them, just click on them. They will turn some, not the end points, but some of them turn to the gray. So when they turn to the gray, so I mean this time they will work and will be draggable with rest of the points. The one thing notice what's happening when I do with vector, it's a recalculating. So I can change my shape, I can modify and create a specific way I want it. Okay, like right here, to adjusting with the shape that I want to achieve. This is work very well if, for example, I can use it, take my uh, layer, put them on a back, and you can always move layers between by selecting them, left click and drag and move them around to order properly way. So right here you can see I select it. Let's go back to my vector, select my pen tool, and I can go and modify, adjust shape specifically as I want it around this scenery. So just overall, you can see the power of vector and will work a little bit more when we start painting over other images to create nice flaming effect. But just keep in mind, this is a way it's a nice and easy to control. So how I say this is vector type. As we look also on a layer tab or a window, you'll notice right here we have a different type of the mode. We have an opacity, which is straightforward, will tell what opacity of the layer should be. And we have it also mode, which is normal, light and dark. And if you work with Photoshop, in some cases think about this light mode, it's more as a soft light or hard light, so it's different type of lighting. And they work very well on depend what kind of background you're using by blending with the values. For example, lighting will work a little bit better, we see with the dark, but it does combine same like a soft light in a Photoshop on a lighter area. However, if we switch to the darken, you can see same things as a hard light, it's work with Photoshop, so it will add some of those um, darker effect. However, it does not work very well on a black background, so combining them. For example, if you want to create some nice kind of mist, you probably want to use a darken behind person and as I will work with a live project and we'll see what we're going to do with all these different modes. But overall right here is some of your modes. The same modes can apply inside the brush blending mode but we'll look on those ones when we start looking on our tool window. So overall again right here is our layer tab that you can remove, scale, in this case, we have the blending mode, opacity, layers. We can delete the layers, and you can always delete layers by selecting and click delete. It will clear. However, if you want to delete the layer itself, remember, just click X to remove the layer. Okay. We also, okay, let me go right here as an example. There you go. Okay, to clear. We also can add new layer, which is plus. It's add normal bitmap layer. We'll add vector layer. Again, it's available only in a pro version. You can also um, duplicate layer if you selected one, for example. We can create copy. We can merge selected layers. So let's, as example, select and merge them to one. And let's remove this layer and set the clear. So right here. Again, overall, it's kind of straightforward, and any time when you forget, remember, you can go ahead and um, just click or mouse over till you have it help coming up about all of this. So it's very well documented application and very easy to navigate. And again, if you have any trouble, the overlay with a pop-up balloon helps was always available.